Hey everyone, Free to Play Gaming here again. Uh, I got a little special video for you guys today. This is going to be my first comparison video. I'm going to do the similarities and dissimilarities between two games here Puzzles and Dragons and Summoner's War. Uh, as most of you know, all my videos up until this point have been on Summoner's War, which is a fantastic game. And what really drew me to this game are the similarities that it has to Puzzle and Dragons. Uh, Puzzle and Dragons is not a real well-known game here in the United States. It's still popular, but it's really popular in Japan. Now, that being said, it has a lot of Japanese elements, but it has a lot of the same team building and team organizational skills that Summoner's War has. So, hopefully I don't have too many video recording technical difficulties here, because, uh... It wasn't real easy to get these, both my uh, my tablet and my phone connected and showing on my PC at the same time. But let's take a quick look at some of the similarities here. As you guys can see, let's take a look at some of the team compositions here. Now I had been playing Puzzles and Dragons prior to playing Summoner's War, so I'm super rusty in this game. I don't know any of the new monsters. <clears throat> my teams are not going to be you know, super good teams anymore. But I did have some pretty good monsters, some pretty good teams, and I really loved this game. Now, I love Summoner's War. So what I don't want to happen is everybody who's used to watching my Summoner's War video just start playing Puzzles and Dragons, because I'm going to be up front, I'm not going to do videos on Puzzles and Dragons at this time. I'm still going to stick to Summoner's War. It's the only game I can really find enough time to invest into right now. And the reason I switched from Puzzles and Dragons initially was not because I was bored of the game. They have tons of events always going on in this game. And I'm, I'm going to say lots of good things about Puzzles and Dragons because it is a very fun game. The battles are completely different than Summoner's War. But the team building and the type of skills and things is very similar. So if we take a look at the way you build your team for Summoner's War, it's going to be very similar. You're going to be able to use a friend, just like every single battle in Puzzles and Dragons, you can use a friend. And let's just open up a quick battle here. Four monsters here. You're going to have, you have a leader monster, you also have a leader monster in Puzzles and Dragons. And in Puzzles and Dragons, he's going to have a leader skill. So certain monsters have these leader skills, same as Summoner's War. And hit points, attack, RCU is the amount that they heal. The, the gameplay for Puzzles and Dragons is completely different than Summoner's War. But very similar types of stats, team building, you can use, well in Arena here I can't use a friend's monster, but for normal dungeon battles, which is all Puzzles and Dragons has is lots of different dungeon battles. One huge benefit of Summoner's War is the arena. You can battle, it has a ranking leaderboard. That drew me to this game. This game, last I knew, did not have a leaderboard for Puzzles and Dragons. What it does have is all your friends and you work together. So every time you use a friend's monster, so let's open up a quick dungeon here. I don't want to do one too difficult, but see, here's all the different special dungeons they have going on just at this time. They have Monday through Friday dungeons, which you get evolution materials to evolve your monsters. You can skill up your monsters just like Summoner's War by feeding them other monsters with the same skills. Uh, I think Summoner's War took a lot of the same good pieces from Puzzle and Dragons and incorporated th them into their games. You can sell monsters, you can fuse monsters. They have special events where you get double skill up chances. Uh, there's a ton of grinding you're going to need to do in this game, but the grinding's actually pretty fun once you start getting your teams together. So, opening up an easy dungeon here, we'll do a comparison on gameplay here. We'll just do the weekend dungeon, and they have novice all the way up through legend. We'll just do somewhere in between because I haven't played this game in a while. And you always have to choose a friend for Puzzles and Dragons. Summoner's War, you don't always have to choose a friend. 
We'll just do Five Mod Volcano here quick. But you can choose a friend, and you can use that friend's leader skill. You can defeat much stronger monsters by using your friends. So very similar concept here, but you're going to have a lot more friends in Puzzles and Dragons. And there's websites online where you're going to want... You get two leader skills in Puzzles and Dragons, so you're always going to have your leader monster and their leader monster. So to make some of the best teams, you're going to need friends with similar monsters, so you get double that leader skill. And there's websites online to to pick whatever friends have. You can say whatever monsters you have, and then people can add you, and you can add people who have the monsters you're looking for to use. So, like I said, I'm very rusty in this game. This is probably not a good monster, but I don't need them to be very good for me to beat this dungeon. So my leader skill in Puzzle and Dragon is three times attack for dragon type. These are all my dragon monsters. So this is kind of a quick farming team I used to have. Let's see if it works here. Now, there's no auto battles in Puzzle and Dragons like there is in Summoner's War. So... I'm going to have to play Puzzle and Dragons. You can see this is totally different. This is more of a Bejeweled type game. You have your team here. So here we can just do an auto attack. I'm going to hold off here and I'm just going to show you the mechanics for Puzzle and Dragons here. So it's kind of hard to explain and it's even harder to get the hang of. But you need to hold down on the screen with a starting gem and then move that gem around the screen making matches on the board. Um, if you get a three three matches in a row, that's a single attack. Four matches is a improved single attack. And you can pick what monster you want to focus on. You don't have to, but you want to get as many matches on the board as possible. And so if I get all red matches here, then my red monsters will attack. If I get green matches, my green monsters will attack. So you kind of get the idea, hearts will heal you, so yeah, it's, it's pretty fun gameplay, so just watch what I do here and you'll get the hang of it. So I'm going to grab this blue orb to start, and then I can move this around, that's going to make a three, so the, the orbs always follow each other. So you get these combos, then the combos are going to add up, then it's going to be times by three with my leader skill and kill the monsters. So this is an easy dungeon here. And I think there's going to be five or ten floors to this dungeon. We're just going to kick off Summoner's War here, just with a quick auto attack. And let that play through while I finish this dungeon. So, you can do something like this. That wasn't very good. I got a couple combos there. Wow. See things? Wow, that was a really good combo. So I'm just going to smoke these guys here, and this is the weekend dungeon, so this is going to give me more, a lot more money for this game. Now, I want to reiterate, I'm not promoting this game, but there's a lot of similarities with the team building, uh, and it can be really fun. I think a lot of my viewers who are playing Summoner's War right now, if you have the time, because this game can take up a lot of your time, but if you find yourself without energy or arena points in Summoner's War, uh, maybe maybe pick up this game. Add me as a friend. It's Lord Moo Cow again. Same as it is for Summoner's War. And every day you log in, you get a magic stone. Magic stones are going to be the same thing as crystals. Kind of. Magic stones can be used to summon rare monsters. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is if you're a free-to-play player, this game is much more difficult for a free-to-play player than Summoner's War is. I think that they give you a lot more benefits in Summoner's War. Here, we'll just kick off another battle. They give you a lot more chances for rare monsters in Summoner's War than I think Puzzles and Dragons does. Puzzles and Dragons really tries to suck the money out of you. And I, I didn't really like that. I wasn't willing to spend money in this game. So, I didn't really feel like I was getting enough benefit from being a free-to-play player. So that was one thing that kind of drew me away from this game a little bit. 
So, you can see, okay, so my green monsters here, they powered up. So every one of these monsters has its own unique skill. If we click on it, this is Plant Ball. Damage, Wood Attack, Fully Charged in 9 turns. So as you play, your monster's skills will activate, and you can use those to kill other monsters. Or they'll activate and they'll give you shields, or they'll refill your hit points. There's tons of different skills, and team building is really what this game is all about. There's tons of monsters, too. I can kind of show you that a little bit. But I want to go over the difference between the magic stones in Puzzles and Dragons and Mystic Scrolls in here. So as soon as I get done with this battle, we'll talk more about that. So we're close, but we'll do one more auto battle in Summoner's War here. Let's see, that should kill him. Now this looks really easy, but I'll tell you there are some very difficult battles where you have to have the absolute proper team, you cannot miss a combo, and there's some really legendary battles where you can get some really crazy monsters for, and some of the battles might take upwards of an hour to beat up some of the other high level monsters. Now this, this runs on stamina which refills over time, same as Summoner's War with the energy and arena points. So, you know, you, some of the battles in Puzzles and Dragons, I think maximum stamina that I have is like 90 right now, and some of the battles are like 100, st or 50 or 100 stamina. So, one single battle, which consists of multiple levels, can take, let's use this guy's skill and see what happens, can take you a whole hour, but you might get a super rare monster off of it. Ooh. My bad. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so I just cleared this, so we'll go take a look at the magic stones. We'll even use one. One of the events they have sometimes, similar to well, actually, Summoner's War doesn't have events where the Mystic Scrolls have an increased chance to get special monsters. But Puzzles and Dragons does have that. Monster box is full. See, I have inventory management problems in this game, too. Um, We'll fuse some monsters. I'll just show you guys that real quick. Look at all the monsters I have in this game. And I've gotten some of these rare monsters, like this one right here, from doing some of those really high-level dungeons. And this was, this was months and months ago, guys, so if anybody's a Puzzles and Dragons player and you're looking at some of my characters here, don't laugh too hard. But you know, like this one, see this skill here? Reduce the enemy's hit points by 30%. This is one of the ways to kill those super high-level monsters in the really, really hard stamina dungeons. So there's a ton of uh, technique involved with this game. So I don't even know what monsters I can get rid of here. Let's see, what can I do? If I come back to this game, I don't really want to. Here, we'll do this. We're going to give her some power-up monsters. These are very rare. And I probably shouldn't even be doing this. But I'm going to just to free up some space here. This is very, these are very rare. That's okay, though. We're going to give her all kinds of experience. Why not? Why not do it? So she's going to level up a lot. She's level 28 right now. Boy, I don't know if I want to. If I come back to this game... <laughs> let's just... Uh, I don't even know how to get back to where I was. Oh, come on. What did I do here? Uh, actually, what we can do, we can, here's the shop, we can increase the capacity of our monsters by spending these stones. And they give you like one stone a day, if it's a special event day. So here's the stamina up here, and I'm, I kinda, I'm sorry I'm focusing on this game more than, uh, Summoner's War here. But okay. So they got all kinds of stuff here that I'm not used to seeing. But you can come over here to the machine 
And I, these are your stones up here, which you can purchase with real money. Kind of like you can purchase crystals in Summoner's War. But, like I said, you get like one per day, sometimes more than one per day. So I usually save them up until they have some kind of a rare event here. And it looks like they have a God Fest going on here, which is it used to be the best time to use your, your crystals, your uh, stones or whatever they call them. So I'm going to do a rare summoning here, and this is similar to using a mystical scroll in Summoner's War. So why don't we do one of each? I have four saved up in Summoner's War here. So I'm going to kick them both off at the same time. And this is actually probably more rare than the mystical scrolls you get. I would say it is, because it takes you five days at least of there being an event on for you to get five of you logging in for you to get five of these. One play equals five magic stones. So let's do it. Let's let's see what happens. So here you have to pull down the little handle on this guy and you feed him your magic stones and he poops out an egg. I think that's a good egg. I think gold eggs are good. Super rare. I have no idea what this monster is. No clue. She wasn't even out when I used to play this game. So that might have been something really good. Water Wizard Sharon, 5 star. That's interesting. Leader skill, 3x attack on turns, a skill is used. Huh. So they have all different kinds of skills in this game. She might be really good. I don't know, and I probably won't, um... Probably won't look into it too much. I'm more interested in Summoner's War here. Let's do it again. I can pull this handle some more. I can do another mystical scroll here. Let's see what our luck is. I didn't even see what I got here. I wasn't even paying attention. Three star. Very rare. Drunken Master. Okay, so this is something that was just coming out when I stopped playing this game, are these fruit dragons. I don't think he's good. Strawberry Dragon. Look, number 1075. So there's over a thousand different monsters in this game well over a thousand. There's a lot more junk monsters that nobody would really use, but you might feed to other monsters. Three more times. I'll have to go back to the video and see what I got for that first Mystic Scroll. It must not have been anything super good. Let's do it one more time. Well, we might as well just do it a bunch of times. Who cares, right? Ooh, that's a gold egg. That's That's good. Super rare. This is no good here. This is junk. Hattori Hanzo. 1.5x attack and healing for attacker types. He might be okay. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny that I don't know these things. There's probably Puzzles and Dragons players out there who are just shaking their head at me right now. Okay, I got one more mystical scroll. And I got no good there. And this is no good. Vampire, I got I remember having lots of vampires. And you can evolve monsters multiple times in this game, whereas this you can just awaken them once. But that doesn't mean I don't like this game more. I like the gameplay of this game quite a bit. Especially seeing how you can auto battles, and it just seems like a more friendly game. The arena is awesome. They have good events in this game, just like they have good events in this game. But this game, this game can chew up a ton of your money. They're going to want to get money from you for these magic stones and such. So, I'm going to save these eight magic stones, because you can use them for a lot more in this game than just playing this rare egg machine. And it took me probably a long time to save these up to begin with. And I got two rare monsters. I'm not going to push my luck here. So that's that part of the game. I already showed you guys the battles. Uh, you can, you can uh, hold a heck of a lot more monsters in this game. Um, you can, I showed you the... No, I didn't show you the power-ups, but I was going to there. We'll do it. Let's see here. Just scroll down. See, these are all gods up here. I'm not even sure what I want to do. 
we'll give her one monster and I'll just show you what the power-ups are kind of like here and we'll do a power-up here as well we'll just do this real quick anyways I'll just begin the fusion here on this one so you can see the amount of experience they're gonna gain yeah, it's, it's very similar and this is kinda like an angel mon those dragons are very similar to what an angel mon would be in this game An angel mon's gonna be used for level up material, and if you awaken your angel mon, then it's gonna give that base monster that much more percentage of a of a boost when you use it as level up material. So we're gonna feed what we just got to. Wait a second, was that a Garuda? See, I can't even handle playing two games at once. And it was a plant. So here's the power up on Summoner's War. It's too much. Two games is too much. And then you can click this and level up. Doo doo. Level up. So I didn't even get one level up for my Hua here. And you can skip this too. So I'm all the way to 32 with this monster now. So I think this is a, a basic comparison. They're very similar with the dungeons. The team building is very similar. The gameplay is totally different. You don't select what skills or who you want to attack as much. This game's more of turn-based attacks. Your monsters versus them. This game is more like bejeweled type attacks. Where you can focus one monster and you can choose what skills you want your monsters to use when they're active. But you're still playing this puzzle game to do all your attacks. So if you guys don't have, you know, if you run out of energy and arena points, maybe give this game a shot. Um, sometimes it's going to take you a long time to use up your stamina. It depends what kind of dungeons you're doing. They have all the normal dungeons here, which are the s very similar to just the normal dungeons in Summoner's War. These are available all the time. Each one of them has five different levels. So you can think of these, let's see here, you can think of each of these levels as one of like Garen Forest here. So the very first one here is Fertile Land, same as Garen Forest. This has five levels you can do, and this actually has seven. And at the very end, you're going to get a boss dragon here. So uh, let's just do this real quick. We'll just show this off. So this is going to be a boss for Puzzles and Dragons, and this is going to be a boss for Summoner's War. Ooh, a Pengu. See, these are these are actually the uh, same as the Angel Mon. You can awaken... Oh, there we go. What? Okay, guys, I'm going to call that good for this video, seeing as how I just disconnected from both of my devices. So thanks for watching. Hope this was informative for you guys. If there's anything you guys want to see, please leave it in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this. Take care, everyone. Bye.